First, though, let's take you live to Adelaide. Here's the Prime Minister. OK, it's terrific to be back in Adelaide with the South Australian Premier, Peter Malinowskis, the Deputy Premier, Susan Close, and Tony Zapier, uh, one of the local federal representatives whose constituents are going to get good, secure work as a result of our AUKUS commitments and the $2 billion that will be invested here in South Australia just across the forward estimates. But of course, over the years to come, many billions of dollars creating jobs, creating innovation, making the best of, of Australian uh, science, technology, innovation here in defence industries. Uh, this is an exciting project. AUKUS is the biggest single investment in Australia's defence capability in our history. And Osborne here will be at the epicentre of all that we do. South Australians building the most complex machinery known to mankind right here at Osborne in South Australia. It is a transformational moment for Australia, for South Australia and for our Defence Force as well as of course our economy. One of the things that we say is that we're investing in our defence capability, we're also investing in our relationships in the region as well. But this isn't just about our defence. One of the things that advanced manufacturing does is it produces a multiplier. Just as the car industry had ramifications and benefits for Australia over many decades in the post-war period, uh, the vision of a, an advanced defence capability will have spin-off for manufacturing, spin-off for jobs right across the Australian economy, but particularly here in South Australia. This will create some 20,000 jobs directly over the next 30 years. It will strengthen Australia's national security and contribute to regional stability in response to the unprecedented regional challenges which we are facing. It's about building a future made in Australia by Australians with record investments in defence, in jobs and in infrastructure. And it's about delivering a superior capability after a decade of inaction and mismanagement. At its peak, up to 4,000 Australian workers will be employed to design and build the infrastructure for the new submarine construction yard here. A further four to five and a half thousand jobs will be created to build the nuclear powered submarines in South Australia when the program reaches its peak. I think this is a most exciting proposal. Uh, we have worked uh, in the 11 months since we've been in government to make sure that the benefit comes here in South Australia. And I want to thank my friend, the South Australian Premier, for the constructive approach to the relationship that we have. We've signed a memorandum of understanding to make sure that we maximise the benefit here in South Australia, but also, of course, the benefit to the nation. And this afternoon, we've had the opportunity to talk firsthand to the workforce here. Skilled workforce, fitters and turners, electrical engineers, machinists, who are all in secure, well-paid jobs and that is one of the things that this is about, making sure that those jobs stay here in South Australia. We need that certainty. What we've done is provide certainty, not just for a year, not just for a term of government, but that certainty for decades going ahead, which will give confidence to the South Australian economy. And I want to uh, thank the South Australian government uh, for working with us on what is such an exciting project in the national interest. Hey. Thanks. Well, thank you very much, Prime Minister. It's great to have you here in South Australia again, particularly here at Osborne. It's great to be also here with, of course, the Deputy Premier Susan, as well as Tony, the member for Macon. Um, there can be no doubt about the fact that the AUKUS opportunity of building nuclear submarines here in South Australia represents the greatest opportunity we've had in our state for the biggest step change in economic complexity that we've really seen in the nation's history, let alone South Australia's. Uh, up to five and a half thousand people employed directly right here in Osborne 
to build the most complex machines that have ever been built in human history. The size and the scale of this enterprise cannot possibly be overstated. And South Australia is not just excited about that task, we're already gearing up for it. We understand, Prime Minister, that the opportunity that the federal government has provided South Australians actually also imposes a degree of responsibility on our state as a whole, including the state government, particularly around the development of workforce and skills. We, um, the opportunity today to be able to chat to people working on the full cycle docking project of the Collins class, to be able to speak to those tradies, men and women, uh, electrical trades, sheet metal fabrication trades, um, engineering trades, all of these we are going to require a lot more of in South Australia, but even at a greater level of skill, with even higher level qualifications to be able to work on the nuclear project. We're committed to delivering that workforce. And that's why we've got a program in South Australia for everything from three-year-old preschool to building brand new technical colleges at our schools, but also university amalgamation. All of this is a, a comprehensive program to make sure that we have the skills and the workforce that this massive, massive undertaking is going to require. Um, but Prime Minister, we are grateful for, for your leadership. South Australians uh, appreciate the size and the scale of the commitment that the federal government has made. It's a necessary commitment to our nation's defence, but it's an exciting opportunity for industrial advancement here in South Australia and the improved standard of living that can be realised from literally thousands upon thousands of workers on the back of that. It's going to be a big journey. There are going to be challenges, of course, of course the, um, the next decade, but we're up for every single one of those challenges and we're excited about it and we're getting on with the task.